morning all and welcome to my boudoir so this vlog is going to be following me around all day showing a day in the life of Hannah Warmer and as you can see I always start off with a nice cold eye mask before I get up oh and a cup of coffee so watch for this vlog hopefully you enjoy it and make sure you follow and comment below so first things first, before we get started on anything else, I have to make my coffee. As you can see, I have two coffee machines because I'm a bit of a coffee fanatic. We'll put the lid on that later on. And then I'm going to come over to my breakfast today. So I am going to be making waffles. And now... I've got put some of the liquid in. Probably not going to put it all in at once. The butter. Now we have the beautiful, beautiful liquid being added on. So two scoops of this will make the best waffles. And what a lovely day to start, a lovely way to start your day. And probably one more just for luck. It looks like I could do with a little bit more. I always put it right in the middle and the reason is, if it runs, if it goes up too far to the edge, it runs right the way over and like just spills over the top because this stuff expands. So we're going to push this down and hope for the best. It looks like it's fine. You can see that this is where it's expanded before. Okay, and let's wait and see my breakfast soon. So before anyone else is up, you're probably all in bed while I'm filming this. But this is the breakfast. I cannot think of a better way to start the day. So... Cheers everyone. Okay, so I have gotten up now, finally. I've done a little bit of yoga and I've done my early morning warm up on the violin. And so I'm gonna get out of these sweaty clothes. I am going to have a nice shower and then I'm heading over to the gym so I can do some paperwork there and so I can do a little bit of a workout before my full day starts. So what is the time now? It's about half seven. And I should be leaving the house about, let's hope, 8 o'clock. Okay, catch me on my ride to the gym. So, you're going to be seeing me driving to the gym right now in my brand new car. Yay! <laughs> lunch meeting and I can actually show the meeting but I'm having a quick video afterwards so not many people see this side of my day people obviously see a lot of me live streaming and me in concert but a lot of my day apart from practice recording and a lot a lot of paperwork and then some more practice and then concert. most actually there's a large amount of the week is meeting with different people trying to plan future events whether those meetings are done in the flesh or online it depends whereabouts it is but this is the restaurant i was at it's my favorite restaurant the reason it's my favorite is it's a world food buffet and so anyone who knows much about my tours knows that i always love world food buffet i pretty much love all food from around the world and 
a love for your buffet means you can have everything. And after a tiring day, I'm back here in the recording studio because I have a whole afternoon evening of recording ahead of me. As you can see, I'm quite tired now, but there's no rest for the wicked. So hopefully when these recordings are done, you'll be really, really interested in seeing them. And make sure you watch the rest of this to see how it gets on. So after a really, really, really tiring day, but really enjoyable day, like every day is, but now perhaps you can see why sometimes I appear so tired. <laughs> um, I'm back at home enjoying a nice glass of wine, also the reason why I feel very tired. And I'm just waiting for dinner to cook, which tonight is a nice hearty meal of Spätzle mit Schenk. It's a shinken, ham shank, or pork shank. <laughs> so a nice hearty German dish, and hopefully I'll have that soon. And then I think it'll be off to bed with me to do the whole thing again tomorrow. The unusual thing about being a classical violinist is no day is the same ever. And that means spiritually it really keeps you alive. It's not mundane, but the other, what really ties you out is actually having to organise yourself and organise your day. I find that very, very difficult to always be, and just one day of tuning out and not checking your rotor or your calendar can really throw you out. So, but yeah, it's an interesting world and it's an interesting life and I wouldn't change it for the world. So if you want to see more of what a classical violinist does, please subscribe below and if you comment I promise I'll get back to every one of them. <laughs>